Hey man, what do you do for a living? Um, I sell foot picks. Foot picks? Yeah. Really? I take pictures of my hairy feet and uh, I post them on a uh, foot finder. Dang, know? that's a business I think I gotta get into. Yeah, no, it makes good money, bro. I mean, I get to drive this fancy Z06, you know, it's definitely well worth it, man. Nice, a lot. Uh, do you have uh, like a profile I can leave a link below? Yeah, Fonzie's Big Feet. All right, Fonzie's yeah. Big Feet. Yep. Wait, what is that? Hyundai Elantra N. Nikki! Do we like it? Yeah. That's pretty sick, I guess. Apparently they have a drift version, right? Yeah, like, let's say like this. What do we think about this color? It's got the C7 wheels on it too. It's like this uh, sand color, tan. Looks pretty good. Almost like, a, I'm noticing like, I want to say a weird sort of shade of pink in there too. Looks very cool. I like the color combo. What do you think, Zeke? Very nice. So the Mini on radials all around. Do we think this is fast? Do we actually think this is fast, guys? Eh, money, you could. Not really. It probably makes like 100 wheel at most. 100 wheel? Yeah, the 150 wheel. Is this all wheel drive? The daily task of owning a. Oh my god, is it hot? Very. Dude, the engine is hot. I wonder how, why that's hot. My oil tank's got the 235 on the way here. 235? Oh, we're good. Gucci? We're good. Do we need more? No. No weekly fill up? Nope, not, not this week. Maybe oh, next geez. week. The Corvette is one of the coolest cars out there, and the best thing about it is that it provides value. It's fast, it's cool, it has some luxury features, and it's at a good price. It's very realistic to be able to own one of these, maintain it, insure it, and all of that. You get the speed and power of something like a Lamborghini or Ferrari, but you're not paying those price tags. So that's one of the things that drives everybody to the Corvette, including myself. That's why I purchased mine. Now the new C8 Z06 price list just dropped, and in this video, we're gonna go over it. I wanted to take a second and recap and just talk about what the C8 Z06 is going to offer because I think that's important when we talk about the prices. Chevy kind of wanted to get back to their roots, producing more of a track car and a naturally aspirated vehicle. They actually wanted to get back to a lot of this model behind me, the C6 Z06, the whole naturally aspirated, larger motor, power, track focused car. So they made a few changes from the C7. The first big change is they ditched the supercharger. This is a naturally aspirated vehicle. The C8 Z06 has a 5.5 liter LT6 V8 motor in it. They're still keeping the C8 mid-engine, obviously, but this one's gonna be paired with a 10-speed dual-clutch transmission, which is crazy fast. These 10 speeds now are absolutely crazy, and the main benefit of a dual-clutch transmission is that you can grab onto the next gear while releasing the first gear. I could make a whole other video on how these work, and I don't even fully understand it, but, but basically, instead of shifting from first to second to third, traditionally as you would in like a manual or regular automatic where you let go of first gear, grab onto second gear, you would be letting go of first gear while you're grabbing onto second gear. So basically it just shortens your shift times a lot. I'm not gonna get too deep into that right now, but Anyways, long story short, it's a really good thing. In terms of power, this thing puts down 670 horsepower and it's gonna put down 470 foot-pound feet of torque. These are all the confirmed numbers from Chevy. Speed-wise, our zero to 60 is gonna look like 2.6, which is insane. This thing is gonna weigh a little bit more at 3,750 pounds, so kind of reaching that uh, 4,000 pound mark, depending on the different trim model that you get. Unfortunately, cars are just getting heavier and heavier as we get more technology, more luxury features, and all this other stuff just adds to the weight. Now let's get into pricing. Pricing is going to depend on trim, and there are three main trim models that the Z06 is going to offer. One LZ, 
2LZ and 3LZ. This is gonna change things like appearance, interior, luxury, all those type of things. And you're also obviously going to have price change if you decide to spec this vehicle out yourself, but these are the three main categories. First, let's start with the 1LZ. All of these are broken up into two separate categories, coupe and convertible. Starting with the coupe model, that comes in at 106,395. The convertible option is gonna be 113,895. Moving on to the 2LZ, the coupe model is going to be $115,595, and the convertible model is gonna come in at $122,595. Lastly, at the top of the categories here, we have the 3LZ. The first model, the coupe, is gonna come in at $120,245. And the top of the line, 3LZ convertible, is going to come in at $127,000. $245. So you can get a top of the line C8 Z06 convertible for almost $130,000. Now the question that a lot of people are asking is, is it worth it? The Corvette's always been a cheaper car. They have focused on value and crossing that $100,000 mark and a lot is kind of nuts. So is the C8 Z06 actually worth it? In my opinion, Yes. Unfortunately for us car enthusiasts, this is a terrible time to be a car enthusiast. The price of cars is so high and everything has been getting more and more expensive. Gas, insurance, not a good time to buy a depreciating asset. And although $130,000 is quite a lot for a car, you still have to think about what you're actually getting for that and compare it to other models in its class. Now that does bring up the question, can you actually even get a car for the MSRP? There have been lots of problems with other vehicles where dealerships will mark them up so much and put a large price tag on them that it's almost impossible to get a car for what they're worth. I've heard some speculation, I believe it was Ford that started cracking down on this. I'm not sure if this is something that will get taken care of in the near future, but I really don't like the fact that dealers are charging fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 over asking price just for a car like this. Car companies aren't too fond of that. They want their vehicles to be able to be bought, so I think that's kind of seeing itself out. To be totally honest, I don't think dealerships are even gonna be around in the next 20 years. I feel like they're very inefficient. Nobody really likes going to a car dealership. It seems like from an efficiency standpoint, they're not gonna be around much longer. I don't know if this is true or not, but I can just see how the world is changing and how the car economy is changing. But back to the actual Corvette itself, I think that if you compare the C8 Z06 to anything else coming out in its class, it still brings a lot of value, even at that $130,000 price tag. You're getting the speed, you're getting the value, you're getting the luxury, all the technology, the dual clutch 10 speed transmission, the mid engine motor now. Yes, other car companies and other luxury vehicles offer this, but not for 130,000. Some of the cars that might be relatively in the class of the C8 Z06, would be the Ford GT, even though that's not really in the same class. And then the Viper, that's another one. Both of those are drastically more expensive when arguably you can get the same speed and power out of a C8 Z06. That's why I bought my C6 Z06, just because I think it's a very nice balance between fast power, but not like all the way, whereas in the ZR1 is just too expensive for me to afford. I'm very excited to see these cars actually coming out onto the road soon. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of build plans for the C6 Z06 behind me. I just received some new parts from Texas Speed recently, and on November 1st, we are starting this build. I wanna start this build in the winter while I can't drive this car anyways, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Our plan, we put down about 430 to the wheels now. We're gonna try our best to hit 600. I think that that's reasonably possible with what we got in store. Thank you all for checking out this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Have a great and amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.